Thank you everyone for joining the Industrial Defender webinar, which focuses on how Industrial Defender is enhancing the end user experience with its Microsoft Power BI ASM templates. In release 7.0 of ASM, Industrial Defender introduced its custom reporting module. The module enabled the creation of modified reports to meet the specific needs of individual security and compliance customers, and provided flexibility to the end user to develop and modify reports as they saw fit. In addition to the ability to customize reports, the ASM Custom Reporting module also enabled the integration of the ASM to third-party Service Desk and SOAR application tools via the Industrial Defender ASM API. By now, I'm sure you know that I'm George Colavantes and that I head up the operations group at Industrial Defender. With me is Peter Lund, our well-known Director of Product Management. Peter will be taking you through our new Microsoft Power BI templates, which focus on vulnerabilities, security events, compliance, Asset Insights, Removable Media, and Authentication. Take it away, Peter. Thanks, George. Uh, we had met with uh, many of our customers and they've been asked how they can get more enterprise visibility to this great uh, ASM compliance and security data set. Uh, so once we had built the custom reporting views, we found it pretty easy to get things into, you know, Splunk it like you'd seen in the previous videos, but now we can do the same thing uh, with Power BI. So if I take a look at this one dashboard, this was kind of inspired by our compliance dashboards on the ASM where you're able to see, you know, the, the, the age of a baseline. You can see the age of an individual exception within the ASM. So you can see we've got some, you know, older exceptions that are starting to turn red as you approach those, uh, you know, NERC deadlines for dealing with exceptions. Uh, you've got your asset details and their ages. You can filter this down to, you know, individual groups, uh, locations, uh, all of it's pretty flexible. Uh, these templates are uh, configurable and programmable and really just tie back to those uh, custom reporting views and, and stored procedures. Also on this dashboard, we have just a little breakdown of authentication events, as well as some user account activity. So other things you might wanna see, um, you know, in your NERC style dashboard. You can also take these sliders and look at the volume of security events change you know, over time. So they are, they do update real time. Um, I'll take us through another one, which is more of what we call an asset insights. This one is really looking at an individual asset uh, holistically. So we've, you know, selected one asset being monitored by the ASM. You can quickly see, you know, all the security events that have occurred on the endpoint, again, with that same kind of sliding uh, scale window of dates. You get a quick view of the assets administrative properties, you know, where it's located, who to call when you see a problem, uh, very similar to, um, you know, basically just like you're looking at the ASM. And you can pivot over to, you know, any vulnerable software titles on the endpoint. So you can see I've got some vulnerabilities related to Dell, some vulnerabilities related to some older versions of McAfee that are running. Uh, we've got some outstanding software patches that close those vulnerabilities. This is all being driven by our vulnerability monitoring service, which is great. We've got uh, the raw CVE information if you want to dig in and look for a specific CVE. And then we can look at that raw exception data. So before we were just looking at counts. Now we can see the actual uh, baseline deviations related to new versions of you know, Google Chrome, the McAfee agent being updated. Uh, the Zoom Outlook plugin being updated, we can see that uh, some of the networking details have changed on this endpoint, you know, the gateway, uh, DNS. Another really neat thing with Power BI is they give you some powerful, um, you know, phone and mobile options. So if we switch over to the, the mobile style layout, you can see that you've got a quick heads up, you know, asset centric view of what's going on with this individual asset. Same thing applies to the to the compliance dashboard, so you could have that running to a phone uh, or a tablet using, you know, like a Power BI central server, something like that. Um, so we're pretty excited about these dashboards. Uh, I'll switch back here to the presentation to give a little more uh, info about them. And really, you know, how are these available and how are we making them uh, uh, accessible to customers? So these are included with the custom reporting module that we released in, in 7.0. Uh, that includes access to the SQL views, the store procedures, and API access, and those are all tested and validated release to release. So when you build your customizations, you don't have to worry about them breaking. Uh, this also will include, you know, periodic updates. We'll update the views and store procedures of the templates with um, new features within ASM. 
And really, these are just uh, templates. You can tailor them to your specific you know, user's needs, your specific uh, executive's needs. Um, they're really a great starting point. They give a tremendous amount of visibility. And uh, it's kind of limitless as to how you can customize them. Hey, Pete, that was great information. These new templates are just scratching the surface of the ASM and the custom reporting capabilities. And I know that the entire team is excited to see the insight that the ASM Power BI templates will bring to our customers when combined with our new 7.3 enhancements of NetFlow and Risk Analytics. Additionally, the customers that are leveraging custom reporting and the Industrial Defender BI templates will no longer have to wait for new releases for reporting enhancements. And as new data sets are embedded in the ASM, the Industrial Defender reporting team will quickly create new BI templates and have them published to the support community. I would like to thank you for taking us through the presentation and for our audience for listening in. In closing, I would like to say that Industrial Defender is well positioned to enable both our present and future customers high value asset identification programs and provide executive level transparency to the OT security operation. Thank you everyone and please stay safe.